that would be fantastic. Okay, and actually, let's see if we can turn this. So here is our class. Can you see everybody? You guys want to wave to Ms. Ball? Can you see me waving? Yes, I see you. Hi, guys. Okay, hostess, why don't you come on up and introduce I yourself? Love to meet your hostess. Here she comes. How do you do, my dog? Say it again. Hi, my name is Morgan, and this is our second grade class. Hi, Morgan. Okay. Love your name. It's very nice to meet you. So, Ms. Bell, are we starting with um, questions from the students? You can if you'd like. Or did you want to start? I think that I would like to get us started, and then we can ask Perfect. as many questions as we want at the end. How would that be? Perfect. That sounds good. So, Morgan, is there anything special you wanted to say before we started? No. <laughs> We're excited. We're excited to hear the story. I am very excited to see all of you guys. So, how many of you know who I am? Is my name uh, Jenna Fritz? No. 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 So how about Jenna Bell? No. What is it? Ms. Ms. Ball. Oh, yay. Very good. Okay, so I write um, books called Critterkin. Does anybody have any idea what Critterkin means? Wow, you do. Let's see, Morgan, why don't you pick somebody? Um, That's a good idea. Critter Much louder. Critter is, means animal, and kit means family. Yes, so you put those two, you guys are great. You put those two together, and it means... Animal... Family. Yeah. Perfect. So how many of you think that animals are part of our family? Me too. So how many of you have animals in your family? Okay, here's the really tricky question. How many of you have animals that you've rescued in your family? Somebody tell me what a rescued animal is. What does rescue mean? We're going to call on somebody, please. Look. It's um, when you like get a dog from the shelter or you save it when it was on the road. Good. So, so what's a shelter? What does that mean? We're trying to figure out what's the difference between a regular dog or cat and a rescue dog or cat. So, Brooke, what's a shelter? Shelter is like where dogs stay that don't have a family or a home. Right, right, right. And you, you were right. What was your name? I'm sorry. Brooke. You said some dogs were picked up off the street. That's true. Yeah. So a dog that's rescued is one that's saved, right? So uh -huh. how many of you have saved dogs or cats at your home? Me too. So where did you get your dog or cat? Help us, Morgan. you got to choose people. <laughs> much, much louder. My dog is a rescue, but I got her at, I think, somewhere near my house. Maybe a rescue group, huh? Did somebody, so. office? Did somebody else go to their shelter and get their dog or cat? Okay, Brooke? I got my dog Shelby from me. A shelter, and she was only, right now she's only six. She's going to turn seven this year. Zoe. And I got a cat from um, our vet that we go to. In oh, that's our, nice. Yeah. Our dad tricked us for getting our dog Barkley's medicine, and we actually got a cat. Aw, I like your dad. That's a good kind of trick. Okay, well, so today we're going to talk about a dog who was rescued. His name is Ricky Bobby. Does anybody have um, your pictures ready to go? Do you have iPads with the, the PowerPoint on it? We have. Um, we printed it out, so we'll pass them around. Okay. So right. take a look at this little guy on the very first page. Can somebody read what it says to me? Raise your hand if you can What's read that. Morgan, do you want to call on? I don't have one yet. Okay. 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 So, Owen, will you read what it says here real loudly? I want to go fast. I want to go fast. What do you think that thing is that he's in? Why does he have those wheels and stuff like that? What's going on there? No, how about you? Um, it's because his back legs don't work. Right. Very good. Yes. So it's called, uh, what is it? What is that called for dogs? 
For people, it would be called a what? Brian? Um, Real loudly. Yes, he said a wheelchair. Yes. For people, it would be a wheelchair. For dogs, and I don't know why, they call it a cart. So when I read my story, if you hear the word cart, that's what that is, okay? Now, I'm going to read you the story of Ricky Bobby, and then we'll meet the real Ricky Bobby and hear his story. But before we get started, I'm going to need your help, okay? Can you guys help me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the what I need you to do is when you hear words in groups of three, groups of three, you need to repeat after me. Otherwise, I can't read, okay? Okay. All right, so we're going to practice. I know that sounds very strange, but it's really <laughs> fun. How many of you like to make noise? Yes. I love to make noise. So we're going to practice here, all right? <laughs> and you guys just repeat after me so we make sure we know how to do this, all right? Words in groups of three. Ready? Nice and loud, otherwise I can't read. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes! Awesome! No, no, no! <laughs> look at me, look at me, look at me! Look at me, look at me, look at me! Yes, very good. This way, this way, this way! This way, this way, this way! And I'll tell you what, the more hands you can use, the easier it is for me to read, okay? So, hurry, hurry, hurry! Hurry, hurry, hurry. Very good. Not true, not true, not true. Not true, not true, not true. Who are you? 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 And my very favorite of all. <coughs> very good. All right. So, you ready to read? Yeah. Everybody have your pictures in front of you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Now, before we start, everybody has to stretch oh, and yawn, oh, all the extra energy out. <laughs> Very good. All right, so now here I'm going to go, and I'll tell you when to turn your page, okay? So I'll say next page, and you'll turn your page. So we're starting on page one with the picture of Ricky Bobby, okay? Here we go. I want to go fast. I want to go fast. Okay. My name is Ricky Bobby, and I'm a good boy. Being a good boy means many things. When Ms. Janiah is happy to see me, I'm a good boy. When Dr. Becker wants to open my mouth to look at my teeth and I don't bite him, I'm a good boy. I'm also a good boy when Ms. Janiah puts me in my cart and I go fast. I love my cart. Next page. Before the people dressed in white came, I was not a good boy. I lived in a wire cage with a cardboard bottom that smelled like pee. I never saw the grass or the sky, and the people who fed me never spoke. I was alone. Sometimes my teeth hurt or my back ached. When my back legs stopped working, I had to pull them behind me with my front paws. After that, the people who brought food came less and less. I was so hungry, I was ready to eat the cardboard in my cage. Then a strange thing happened. One day, more people than I'd ever seen before opened a big metal door at the end of the room. Light and smells poured in. Naturally, I barked my mistrust. Who are you? 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 I've never seen or smelled or heard so many people in my life. Next page. It's okay. You're safe now, said a soft voice. She reached into my cage, lifted me out, and carried me into the sun. I was so surprised I shook all over and buried my face against her chest. I could hear her heart beating and the vibration of her voice. After going outside, I went to live with Dr. Becker and his people. Dr. Becker is a nice man, but I don't like his gadgets. He uses them to shine light in my eye and look in my ears and clean my teeth. I hate having my teeth clean, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Becker built my cart and brought me Ms. Janiah, so I forgive him. Next page. 
Miss Janiah arrived the first day I was learning to use my cart. It looks a little bit like a hammock on wheels. What's a hammock? Can anybody tell you what's a hammock? Ever heard of that before? A hammock is like a swing. And it's really big. Yeah. And swing and swing and sometimes you fall asleep on it. Yes. <laughs> you know what? That's the best description of a hammock I've ever heard. That's good. That's exactly what it is. So my, my little cart looks a little bit like a hammock on wheels. It has two poles with a soft cloth suspended between them to support my back legs. There's also a green vest for me to wear. It attaches to the pole so I can pull the cart along. I didn't like how the vest felt around my chest or the <laughs> of the plastic wheels. But Miss Janaya held treats in front of my nose, so I forgot all about the new feelings and sounds. All I could think about was getting that treat. So before you know it, I was rolling right along. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me, look at me. You're a good boy, Miss Janaya said. Her voice was full of happy tears. The day Ms. Janiah came to take me home was the day I met Mariah. Now, Mariah is the dog at the top of that page. The little fuzzy dog, the gray and white dog. The day Ms. Janiah came to take me home was the day I met Mariah. She was waiting in Dr. Becker's front room looking grumpy. I rolled over in my cart and said, what's the matter? The polite thing would have been to sniff and touch my nose, but she pretended not to see me. Ms. Janiah was talking to Dr. Becker, so I tried again. What's your name? I asked. Why should I tell you? She said. You smell like medicine. Well, and you smell like a purebred snob, I said. <laughs> Lucky for me, Ms. Janiah returned and carried me out to car. Mariah had to use her own four paws to walk, and I could tell she was mad. The car took us to my new home where Mariah and I had what? Ms. Janaya called an adjustment period. That means we had to learn to be nice to each other. It wasn't easy, let me tell you. Mariah is what I call a grump. How many of you know grumps? Grumps. I know a grump. No matter how soft Mariah's bed is, how nice things smell outside, or how delicious her treats are, Mariah is always grumpy. Once I understood that Mariah was happy being unhappy, I stopped worrying about why she didn't like me. Everyone knows I'm a good boy, even Mariah. Next page. The only time I've ever seen Mariah look really happy was the day she saved me from the bully. What's a bully? Who knows what a bully is? What's a bully? What's that bully? Oh, that someone? And I used to have one in my old school. Oh, my. So when you say be mean to someone, tell me how, how does that work? Are they mean to people physically, or what do they do? Like usually they walk in groups, so um, so they 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 won't be overcome stuff like that. Mhm. Mm and um and they're really mean to people. So can you be mean to people with emotion, feeling, what? like say unkind things? Yes. Yeah, and what about people? Have you ever had a bully that pushes people? Or does things, you know, like yeah. hurts people physically? Yeah. Yeah, that's not good either. So bullies can do two things. They can hurt your feelings, but they can also hurt your body, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, Mariah and Ricky Bobby have met a bully. The only time I've seen Mariah look really happy was the day she saved me from the bully. We were visiting a school with Ms. Janiah, and one of the little people took us outside to play. He threw a ball and told me to fetch. Fetch was a new word for me, so I didn't know what to do. Fetch, you stupid dog, he said. Beside me, Mariah started to growl. Not good, not good, not good. Not good, not good, not good. I can't hear you. Not good, not good, not good. <laughs> Much better. When the boy tried to kick me with his shoe, she started barking as loud as she could. Run, Ricky, run! 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 Run,
But run and find Ms. Janiah. Next page. I turned and trotted back into the school as fast as I could go, hurrying down the long hallway and into the classroom where we left Miss Janiah. Help, help, help! Help, help, help! Help, help, help! Help, help, help! There's Ricky Bobby, said a dark-haired teacher. Why are you barking, honey? Help, help, help! I barked again as I as I searched for Miss Janiah. I didn't see or smell her anywhere. Stop that barking, said a tall man. He clapped his hands in front of my face and frowned. You're hurting my ears. No, no, no. No, no, no. You don't understand, I said. We need help, help, help. Help, help, help. Maybe he's looking for Miss Janiah, suggested the dark-haired teacher. She'll be back in a minute, honey. Don't worry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. My throat was starting to hurt from all the barking. Lucky for me, Ms. Janiah walked through the door. What's going on, she, she asked. Why is Ricky Bobby upset? He's not upset, said the man. He's just barking to hear himself bark. Not true, not true, not true. Not true, not true, not true. No, Ricky never barks for no reason, said Miss Janiah. Something must be wrong. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. What's the matter, Ricky? Miss Janiah asked. Show us what's wrong. This way, this way, this way. This way, this way, this way. I turned and trotted out of the classroom, looking back over my shoulder as I went. Miss Janiah and the other teachers followed close behind. We'll all be darned, said the dark-haired man as we came out of the building onto the playground. There, the angry little person was still shouting and chasing Mariah. When Mariah saw Ms. Janiah, she ran over as fast as her legs would go. Not good, not good, not good! Not good, not good, not good! Not good. Oh dear, said Ms. Janiah. She bent and clipped a leash to Mariah's collar. It's okay, Mariah. It's okay. You're safe now, she said. That dog attacked me, the little person said. Not true, not true, not true! Not true, not true, not true. He tried to kick Ricky Bobby, said Mariah. That's not true, is it, Robert? asked Ms. Janiah. Why don't you tell us what really happened? After many minutes and many words I didn't understand, the boy hung his head and said, I'm sorry. He even sat down on the ground and apologized to us. Mariah was brave and licked his hand, but I was too nervous to touch him. It's okay, you're safe now, Ricky, Mariah said. Thanks, I said, touching her nose with mine. You were my hero today. I was, wasn't I, said Mariah, panting happily. I really was. <laughs> the end. <laughs> so I have a question. Why do you guys think that Ricky Bobby, uh, I'm sorry, why Mariah was so grumpy when she first met Ricky Bobby? Why do you think she didn't like Ricky Bobby? Brian, what do you think? Go love it. Because she didn't know him that well. Maybe she didn't know him that well? Yeah, you know, she didn't know him that well, and here's somebody new she doesn't know coming into her family. How would you feel? Right. What's that word? What's that J word that people often feel? Lisa? Yeah. Jealous, she said? Yeah, I think so. But then she felt really good because what? What did she do? She... Uh-huh. Zoe? Rescued him. Yeah. Yeah. So then she felt really good about herself. So how would you guys like to meet the real Ricky Bobby? We would love to. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. the, real, the real Ricky Bobby lives down the street from me. He's a real dog. And we're going to show you a video Woo. of his rescue. Okay? So whenever you're ready, Amy and okay. Sean, I'll be quiet now. <laughs> no problem. Do I put the video? Yeah. Okay. So we will. Here we are. I'll be over here, and when you're done, just let me know. And I love this video. It's. Oh, I do too. Uh, I I get tears every time I see it, and I've seen it a hundred <laughs> times. 
So you guys are going to see the real Ricky Bobby Yay! in action. <laughs> he is in action. He's got so much energy. It's incredible. Their eyes are awesome. Okay, our computer is a little slow. There we go. Are you ready, guys? Here we go. Great story. That was beautiful. Yes. So do you guys have questions? No. Let me answer any questions you have before we go on to the next part. Um, I have a question. Mrs. Um, Benjamin, how do we get this back? Morgan, can you call somebody with a question? And that person is going to come on over here. So actually, we're going to go in order here. So Morgan, come yeah, on up. Things to to talk about. So I, I see you. I just the the you lights are just on. Huh? Yeah, we're here. We're trying to get you 
Okay, I'm just gonna have to join again. Oh, um, there we, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. okay, so I'm sorry. Did you want us to ask our questions one at a time? Yeah, I think the kids probably have a lot of questions. That's a lot of information. Yeah, though. we have yeah, we have 12 kids here today, and each one has a question prepared. <laughs> Ask away. Okay. Here comes Zach. Hi, Zach. Hi, my name is Zach. Oh, hi, Zach. Question. Who started the Fritterkin program? That was me and my good friend Marty. Would you like to meet Marty? Yes. yes. <laughs> Tell me if you can tell if you can figure out where Marty's from. Okay, say hello, Marty. I'm gonna talk like this, so see if you can identify <laughs> what city I was born in. You know where he's from? She said New York. Yeah, right? I was. Oh. <laughs> I was born. I was born in Brooklyn. He was born in Brooklyn. <laughs> hey, Brooklyn. So Zach, this okay, is okay. Marty, and and Marty and I started Critterkin. That's the answer. Thank That's you, the you. answer. Okay. Great question. Thank you. The next person is Owen. Owen. Thank you, Morgan. Hi, my, Owen. My question for you is: Do dogs do tricks? Do my dogs do tricks? Well, I only have a cat. Pardon me. Do dogs do tricks? Do dogs? Oh, yes, sir. They do. Dogs are pretty smart. They can learn a lot of good stuff. Do you have a dog? Okay. Do you have a dog? Yes, I have a dog, a cat, and a fish. Oh my goodness! Well, can a dog do tricks? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> what about the dog? Can the this dog room? do tricks? Um, no, he's a greyhound. Oh, oh greyhound! Ooh, there. That's my favorite wow. dog. They're beautiful. I bet she could do tricks if you taught her. Oh. oh. Okay, thank you, Owen. Thank you, Owen. <laughs> Next is a frog. I'm sorry, could you say it again, Morgan? Next is a frog. A frog, okay, got it. What? Thank you. You might want to say her name so that she, because it's a really name, she might not have Right, say your name again. It's a beautiful name. How long have you been working with Critter? Well, I thought of Critterkin about three years ago, so I started about three years ago, maybe a little bit longer. Is that right, Marty? Yes. About three years. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Next is me. Oh, next is Morgan. Go get your questions. Morgan. Like a what? Okay, come have a seat. My question is, how long do you think it will take you to finish your fourth book? Oh, that's such a good question. Oh. Um, okay, so I'll tell you, usually it takes me about three months to write a book. Wow. So I'm hoping that this one gets done fast, and I can get it done in about a month, because I've been thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking about it, so I'm hoping to get it done fast. Three months? That's impressive. <laughs> really? Oh, it feels like it takes forever. <laughs> but I love fun. writing. It's so much fun. <laughs> Great. I think it takes Morgan the longest. Morgan really is um, the, the drawing. After the story's written, I have to draw the, draw the pictures, too, and that's the thing that takes the longest time. So, Isabel, are you the illustrator as well as the... Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You yeah. take a lot of talent, right? <laughs> draw the pictures, too. You know what? What we'll do next time when we meet, we'll draw together. How would that be? Yay! That would be fun, that would be fun huh? Yeah, we'll draw dogs together next time. I'll show you. Thank you, Morgan. <laughs> so Morgan's going to take a picture of Micah here. Here comes Micah. Micah, what a great name. Micah. Hello. Hi, this is Micah. My question is, do dogs like to be crazy? Do dogs like to be crazy? I don't know if they <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they know they're being crazy, but they sure can go nuts, can't they? So can you can you yeah. tell me yeah. some ways that, that dogs can be crazy? Give me some examples. Mm -hmm. I bet ask your ask your classmates yeah. what they do. 
I gave them some great them stories. They went. They run away from cats. They run away from cats. What else do dogs do that looks crazy? Let me show you. Look at this. Watch this. Michael, watch this. What do they do? What am I doing? <laughs> they chase their tail. Yes. They chase their tail. I used to have a dog that would get in this little space and she would bite her tail and she'd turn in circles until she fell over. She was oh. crazy. <laughs> she'd, get so, she'd get so dizzy she'd fall over. That's funny. This morning, I was watching The Funniest Dog yeah. of 2014, and yeah. I saw the dog that was eating its tail, and, it, and then it got its tail. Yeah, it got it. <laughs> Dogs do crazy things. I agree. Thank you yeah, for your well, question. Thank you. Okay. No, I need to introduce the next person. Okay. Morgan's coming back. Hello, Morgan. Hello, Morgan. The next person is Ryan. Ryan, okay. Okay, have a seat. Hello, Mr. B. Keeps freezing. It froze. Can you hear us okay? Yeah, now I can hear you again. Okay, good. Hi, Brian. How many dogs do you have? I have zero dogs right now. Oh. I used to have a dog, but she got old and she died. And now I just have a cat. Oh. But, but I, I think in my mind that I have many dogs because I volunteer at the local shelter. Oh. And every, every time I go, I see dozens of dogs that all like me. So That's I think that they're like my dogs. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we're Thank you, Brian. No, I'm no. start walking. The next Brian. person is Noah. Noah. Okay. So Noah. sounds like Noah, but it's Noah. Right? Noah. Oh, I'm sorry. Noah. Noah. I have a question, and I want to know how many dogs you saved. How many dogs I've saved myself? Yeah. Um, I have. Pardon me. You or your shelter. Oh, the shelter where I volunteer, hundreds of dogs, because we take part in the Humane Society's program you saw with Ricky Bobby. They go and rescue dogs every year at dozens of places all over the United States. <coughs> so dozens, hundreds of dogs. Great. And um, my mom lives in, um, well, doesn't live, but um, she's coming back from a trip from yeah. North Carolina. Oh, that's where I live. Great. Okay, thank you, Noah. Morgan. I'm gonna I'm gonna fill in here for a minute because uh, Jen has uh, got a very bad cold and she's been really oh. controlling her cough, but it just got the better of her. That's so okay. Let me see if uh, if I can answer some questions too. The next person is Lisa. Okay, Lisa. My question is, how many animals have you cared for? How many animals has what? Have you cared for? Oh, uh, well, there's two things that we're dealing with. There are the animals that uh, Jenna has cared for personally, Ms. Janaya. And then there are the animals that she's cared for when she goes to the shelter. So when she goes to the shelter, there are a hundred of animals there. Uh, in terms of her own life, I think she's had about two or three dogs that she's rescued and taken care of in her home. So that's the answer to that question. Okay. Thank you. Let me try. Okay. Next is Blake. Blake. Hi, Blake. Here he comes. Okay. How big is a dog get and why? How big? Um, it depends. You know, dogs come in all kinds of sizes. You know, you've got the little tiny guys and you've got the great big ones. My favorite one is a Labrador. So that dog weighs wow. about 100 pounds. Wow. 
Big dog. What's your favorite size dog? Um, I don't know anything about dogs. Oh, you don't know anything about dogs. But we'll try to introduce you to some. Huh? I used to have a Maltese. I love Maltese. That was Mariah. Mariah's a Maltese. Yeah, yeah. Aww. Mariah's a real dog, too, you know. Yeah. We'll have to introduce you to some dogs, Blake, so you can have an opinion. Yes. Okay, Morgan, who's next? Next is Zoe. Zoe? Yes. Here she comes. Did I get the name right, Zoe? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Zoe. Hi, my name. Hi. How did you come up with the idea of writing about animals? Oh, that's such a good question, sweetie. Um, so I was volunteering at the SPCA at the shelter. And I used to see kids come to the shelter, and they love the dogs, and the dogs love them. And I thought, what great stories we could tell if we told stories of kids and dogs. That's how it started in my head. Ah, very creative. So most of the dogs, most of the, I mean, yes, most of the dogs in my stories are based on real dogs that That's I know. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you, Zoe. Morgan, who's next? Sadie's next. Say it again. Okay. Sadie's next. Sadie? Did I get it right? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Sadie. Hi. Hi. Uh, my question is, how many books are you planning on writing? How many what? I'm sorry. Books are you planning on writing? Oh, dear. Okay. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> there are six dogs in the Criticum pack, and each dog needs a book. But then after that, I want to write about the Criticum cats. Because all the cat people I know are mad at me because I'm not writing about cats. <laughs> oh. I have a cat too. Me too. I love my kitty. <laughs> so let's see. We have at least six. So you're on book number four right now? Yes, and I've, I've actually, uh, book five, I've, I've outlined, but it's not quite done. Wow. This is amazing. Book number five, I'll be very curious to share with you, so. Okay. Morgan, who's next? Um, what kind of dog is Ricky Bobby again? He is a dachshund. Dachshund. Okay. Brookie's next. Who? Uh, Brooke is next. Okay. Sorry. Hi, Brooke. Hi. Hi. My question for you is: There an unusual animal you wish? you could have for a pet? Oh, yeah, well, um, let's see. Okay, there are two. Do you know what a platypus is? Yeah. <laughs> a what? Platypus. A yeah. platypus. I think they are the funniest looking things, and they look and they behave like a duck sometimes, but they have fur. Yeah, and they, they're mammals and they lay eggs. And they lay eggs. How weird is that? So that's number one. The other one I would love, but I don't know if it would be a good pet, is a wolf. <laughs> How about you? What would you like? Well, I have a dog and a cat, and one of my dogs just passed away, and that's the one we rescued. Oh. Well, my mom rescued him before um, my mom and dad's wedding. Oh, oh. my. Wow. But he got shot with a bullet in the back of his leg, so oh. he limps all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Would you have an animal you'd like to get? Like a parrot or something? Uh, yes. <laughs> it's a good question. Thank you. I want to get um, a huge dog. Huge dog. How about a Newfoundland? Look a up what? Newfoundland. Look up Newfoundland. I also want to have a big cat. A big cat. Yeah, that's a good that's a good wish. Okay. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you, Brooke. Look oh, up Newfoundland, okay? Okay. I think we have one more question. That was all of our students, but Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, she has a comment. Okay, good. 
the biggest bug there is, I think it's an Irish wolfhound. I think so too. You're right. They're they're huge they're um, and, and really skinny. Yeah, they're beautiful dogs. Very friendly, very gentle. My grandparents, they have a parrot. I love parrots. parrots. Does it talk? Um, does it, talk? it talks a lot. It does. Do you think it stands on <laughs> okay, thank you. And when there's loud, loud noises, she makes even louder ones. Yep, that's a parrot. <laughs> okay. So, do we have our piece of paper where we could write down some notes? Oh, actually, yes, we do. Morgan, yeah. are you going to do the notes? Who's going to do our notes for us? We have a paper, actually. So, what I came up with was um, our question for you and then right. vocabulary that we're learning, and then our reflections on the back. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay. So, um, I want to talk about what we saw with Ricky Bobby. You guys, do you think that, that what we saw with Ricky Bobby, was he living in a kind place? No. Why was it not a kind place? We're going to be calling somebody? Yeah. No. Um, because... Um, the people that delivered the food, they never talked to the dog, and then one time, they never let him go outside. They, um, then one time, they didn't feed him that much. And That's right. And was it clean there? No. Ew, it was so dirty. Gross, right? So let's talk about what does a dog need, what do we need to give a dog for it to be happy, and healthy. How can we be kind to a dog? Raise your hand. And let's and make a list, okay? What does a dog need to be happy and healthy? Let's make a list, okay? Actually, let's sit down that much. What does a dog need to be happy and healthy? <laughs> to take care of it, give it <coughs> every time we need it to, and let it go to the bathroom when it has to. <laughs> That's <laughs> important. That's good. Good. So let's talk about what is what is the word what do the words take care of mean? Let's list very specific things. Okay. So you mentioned food? Food is really good. That's a that's number one. Okay. <coughs> food. Can you get me another And what else? What is good for a store for coat? What does a dog need to be happy and healthy? How can we be kind to it? Um, these are okay. okay, so I'm going to add water. We have food and water, right? So petting the dog. Oh, so so what is that? That starts with an L. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dogs need love. Okay, what else? Food, water, love. What else? Morgan? Toys? I like that. Oh, really good. Toys are really important. What else? You guys are making a great list. Keep going. So you guys are writing down the list in blue. Ken? Brian, what else does a dog need? Hmm. Hmm. A bed. Or it would just have to a bed. Yeah, or you get some place to sleep. Right, that's very good. What else? Morgan. They also need a family. A family, a kid. Yes, they need a family. What else? They are being such good note takers here. Owen? Friends. 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 That's a really good one. So okay. dogs are what we call social animals, which means they like to be around other dogs. So you're right. What did Ricky Bobby need that he really didn't get? So and his legs became paralyzed. So he needed what? Baby. That's okay. The, um, physical therapy. <laughs> That's really good. Physical <laughs> therapy, yes. So where do you go every year for a checkup? Or the doctor? Yes, yes. So a dog's doctor is what? What is it called? 
veterinarian. A veterinarian. That's right. So, so every dog needs to go to see the doctor just like a person, and they need their shots and to get their teeth checked and all that stuff, right? What else? You guys are doing great. This is a great list. Yeah, so Ricky Bobby really needs to go to the doctor, check out, get some medicine, right? Yep, yeah, shots. Yeah. Morgan, what else? To be healthy. Healthy. So how do we make sure that a dog is healthy? We talked about toys. We talked about friends. What else? What are you guys doing? Um, either? Exercise. Ooh, yes, ma'am. That's a really, really important one for dogs. If they don't get enough exercise, they do crazy things. They chew things. They run around. They, ugh. Guys, I'll put exercise up here, okay? Okay, so exercise. Now, let's talk about that. So, um, why are you guys in school? Ooh. Noah? To exercise our brains. <laughs> <laughs> to exercise your brains. So do dogs know what people want? They're puppies. They, do they know what, what you want? No. No. And, and so they don't. They need help to go to school to learn what? How to talk English. <laughs> How to speak in English? I don't know. <laughs> well, they can understand some words, yeah. But they need to know what we want them to do, right? And they need to learn the M word. What's the M word? Ooh. No. No. I think I know what you're thinking. Good. Oh, no. thank you. You're welcome. What are those all? Manners. 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 So dogs need to learn manners really badly because they can't talk. They don't speak English, and so we need to learn to learn to communicate with each other, and they need to learn manners. Okay, so I'm thinking of a couple other things. We our list is almost done. What's what's this? What am I doing? What is this? Okay. Collar. No. <laughs> a collar? A collar. What's a collar and why do we do it? Why do we put it around dog's neck? Uh, let's see. Owen, why do dogs wear collars? So you can put all the name and where he came from and all of that change. So they look on staff. So you don't have to refer to the animal itself. Okay, to identify who the animal is and who he or she belongs to. Okay, so what do we hang on the collar? It's a little round metal thing. What's it called? What's that called? Where did you know? Like a tag? It starts with a T. Tag. Uh huh. A tag. So what goes on that tag? Name. Name. Yes, really good. And then what else? Don't forget the thing that goes in their neck. Yeah, we've actually talked about the microchip and how that goes. Oh, that's really good, too. Yeah, yeah, the microchip is important. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes uh -huh. you can replace the tag with a microchip. That's good. And what else? What do we clip onto the dog's collar to take it for a walk? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So all those things are to keep the dog S-A-F. Safe. Safe. <laughs> yeah, good. Good. All right. So these are the things that, that we look for when we find a new home for a dog. So we have a rescued dog like Ricky Bobby, and we want to find a good home for him. We want to make sure that, that, that all these things are covered. So when, we, uh, when somebody comes to adopt a dog at the shelter, we say, do you have a safe place for your dog? Do you have a family for your dog? Do you have a good bed for your dog? Can you feed your dog? These are all really, really important things. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys have any questions about what you saw with Ricky Bobby? Any other questions? In the video? Because I have one question for you if you don't. I okay. do. Brooke, Um, why, was, why were his feet like in a bag and why was he like not in the cart for a little bit? In the That's a great question. So, the okay. bag, um, imagine if you were on the ground and you were pulling yourself uh, and you were on your knees on the ground on asphalt, what would happen if you pulled yourself? What would happen to your knees? Oh, what would happen, Morgan? Lots of yeah. scrapes. That's co exactly correct. So 
because Ricky Bobby can't feel his back legs and he pulls them behind him, if he doesn't have something around his legs, he gets he gets scraped. You know, it hurts it hurts his his legs. So Megan puts that little bag around his back leg so he won't hurt himself. And in part of the video, he did not have the bag on his legs. Yeah. That's correct. So when they first rescued him at that puppy mill, nobody had been taking care of him, and he was pulling himself along with no protection. Okay, and so then M Megan adopted him, and while she was building his cart, she put the little bag around his legs. Does that make sense? Yes. And Owen, something else? Question. What type of animal What type of animal? He is a dog, and he's a dachshund, a toy dachshund. Toy dachshund. Meaning the very smallest kind. He weighs only seven pounds. Oh, seven pounds. He is smaller pounds. than my cat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Little bitty guy. Any more questions? Because if not, I have one to ask you. Okay, I think we're ready. Hang on. Because actually we have lunch in about five minutes. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay. okay so my question with, for you guys is, what do you think a puppy mill is? Why did they keep talking about a puppy mill? That's good. I actually put that on the board, uh, Miss Ball, with a, a sad face. So who can explain what a puppy mill is? What is a puppy mill? Let's see. Lisa? It's a place where it's kind of like a pound. It's like a pound. It's kind of like a shelter. You put Dogs. Kind of. This is kind of hard to, so let's figure it out together. Um, the closest thing I can think of is a car factory. What happens in a car factory? What do they do in a car factory? No. They get made. Cars, cars get, get made. made. Uh -huh. They make cars, right? So in a puppy mill, they make puppies. Okay, so they have mother and father dogs, and they make puppies. Why do you think they make puppies? What do you guys think? Can you want me to get? Um, because um, so they um, so the people that run it can um have money and buy stuff while the other. There people you go. Buy their dogs. There you go. So they sell the dogs. Now we sell cars to make money, but are dogs like cars? No. no. What's the difference? What's the difference between a car and a dog? Someone, someone that hasn't answered lately? What's the difference between a dog and a car? A crap? Um, cars have limits and <laughs> dogs <laughs> just run. Which one is alive? The dog is alive. And do dogs have feelings? Yes. yes. I think that's the biggest problem I have with puppy mills because people who have puppy mills treat dogs like cars. They just make them. They don't care what they feel. And that's a problem because dogs, what did we say? Dogs need love, right? Yes. Because dogs so puppy mills are not good places because dogs don't get love, right? And they're not taken care of very well. So Ricky Bobby was rescued from a puppy mill. And that's a wonderful thing. But we, we all have to keep uh, saying that we don't want puppy mills anymore, okay? Yes. So, I have a question, Miss Ball. If somebody wants to buy a dog from, let's say, a pet store in the mall, have those dogs come from a puppy mill? Yes. 99% of the dogs in, in uh, pet stores come from puppy mills. It's always, always, always better to go to a shelter. Right. And if you really, really want a purebred dog, they often have them there. Okay. Like uh, CA, we'll talk more about that, guys, and the Humane Society. And yep. we're going to learn about some dogs here in Jacksonville that need homes. So next time, what I'd like to do with you guys is we'll we'll look at three dogs that are waiting for their homes in your area, and then we'll choose one and we'll draw it and write its story. How would that be? That sounds like fun. Yeah. Can you guys draw with me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to really look forward to this. All right. So I want paint. Paper and pencil Bye. and erasers. Okay. <laughs> and what do we say to Ms. Ball for all her time and effort? Thank you. And we're going to say it in Hebrew. Yeah. That was in Hebrew. <laughs> that was wonderful. It was so great to meet you guys. Thank you so much. We had a great time. We have see you on Friday. Yes, thank you. Do you have one more question? I'm sorry.
Well, let's do one more from Owen, and then I'm sure we'll have more and more. Um, what did he say? I'm sorry. Do you mean places to get no, um, this type of dog that Ricky Bobby was. Oh, Dachshund? Or, uh, Dachshund? 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 I'll help you spell that. Okay, that's a tricky word. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, see you Friday. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.